Today we celebrate the Feast of Corpus Christi. Our entrance song is Lord Who at Thy First Eucharist. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so as to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, remember how for 40 years now 
the Lord your God, has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its sayer of serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the things that I did during the quarantine was to go through some of my things and sort out and get rid of some things I didn't need. And as I was going through my books, I found that I actually still have my new St. Joseph Baltimore catechism from when I was in grade school. I guess it gives you an idea of the extent of the problem. Uh, but I have to say, as I was looking through it, of course it has the familiar question and answer format, but one of the things that I remember distinctly as a child and was reminded as I looked through it again were the illustrations. There's these wonderful illustrations of, of our faith and aspects of our faith, and especially the ones about the Mass. And I distinctly remember so many of these drawings from when I was a child. Because what they show isn't just what happens at Mass, those are just what we see at Mass, but what they show is actually what happens at Mass. And so, for example, there's a picture of the priest saying Mass and there's the congregation. But in the drawing in the Catechism, they also show how they are surrounded by groups of angels singing God's praises. In the Catechism, they show the priest lifting up the chalice. But then they also so, show in front of the priest not just a crucifix, but Jesus himself on the cross, the very body and blood of Christ being present right there, participating in the death and resurrection of Christ. And also they show as they're celebrating Mass, they show the skies open and God the Father and the Holy Spirit looking down in clouds of glory surrounding everyone. And so as they say, what they show in these illustrations is not just what we see when we come to Mass, but actually what it's showing is what is actually happening at Mass. The wonders that are occurring in our very presence, even though we don't see them. And sometimes we do get that blessing of every now and then of just getting a little glimpse of that. Sometimes, perhaps when we receive communion, we just have that sense of God's presence with us. Sometimes we're at Mass and we're hearing the singing and the praising of God, we can almost hear the angels singing along with us. And so every now and then we get that grace, that wonderful grace of God giving us a real glimpse of what is actually happening in his presence. But we still know through faith, when we look at the Eucharist, we know that those things are present whether we feel them or not. And so today we are celebrating that wonderful gift of the Eucharist, the wonderful gift of God's presence among us in his body and blood. And we also pray that, that God will help us to grow in our appreciation of that wonderful gift. Not even just when we're celebrating the Eucharist, but also a recognition of his presence around with us every day of our lives and every aspect of our lives. Certainly our celebration of the Eucharist is a beautiful thing, but we're reminded today that it is even much more beautiful than we can even begin to imagine. Now together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. 
for us men and for our salvation, which he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. In the Eucharist, the Father nourishes his people with his beloved Son, and let us pray to our loving Father for the needs of all the world. Our response is, Lord of life, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Perez, and all bishops and priests, that they may continue to gather people together to pray faithfully, like Melchizedek of old, we pray to the Lord. Lord of life, life, hear our prayer. prayer. For peace and unity in these times of unrest, that the Lord will help all people join together to overcome racial prejudice and to join their hands peacefully in love for their neighbor, we pray to the Lord. Lord Lord of life, hear our prayer. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, for those who are ill, for those who care for them, for those who are isolated, for those facing financial hardship, and especially for those who have died from the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord Lord of life, life, hear our prayer. prayer. For the community gathered by God at this Mass, that in our lives we may always hunger for Christ, the living bread from heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord Lord of life, life, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the sick of the parish, that they may know the healing touch of Christ in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord Lord of life, life, hear hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially those recorded in our Book of Remembrance, and for the happy repose of the soul of Patricia Gallagher, we pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Most generous Father, you provide for all of our needs with the gift of your Son in the sacrament of the Eucharist. Receive our prayers through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 Our song as we prepare the altar and gifts is Panis Angelicus. my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice sacrifice in your hands hands, for for the praise and glory of his name, for for our good and good of all of the Holy Church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in the mystery of the offerings here presented through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it right, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bound by one word, world, may be enlightened by the faith and unity by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out without end as we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our, Our Father, Father, who art who in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now. now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity and accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is One Bread, One Body. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share of your divine life which was foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our closing song is The Church's One Foundation. Mm -hmm. 